in recent time, there seems to be some sort of, I don't know, ongoing debate or discussion about um, using affordable gear to record or make music and it being frowned upon and you should only have certain brands of gear and if you record or play with particular brands, affordable brands, it's like frowned upon and you're not professional or this, that, and the other thing. And quite frankly, I think that attitude is stupid. And before any of you come at me in the comments section pointing out that, yes, I have a full-size Helix rack, I have HX Stomp, I have multiple Solar guitars, I have a couple PRS SE models, I get it, I have some nice gear. But one of the most used pieces of gear in my arsenal is my 2010 Squire Jaguar bass. This thing is on just about every piece of music I've ever put out and recorded. And I love this bass. I love the sounds I get out of this bass. When I got this bass, it was either 2010 or 2011. This bass is originally from 2010 and it retailed for $329. I did not buy it for $329. Pretty sure I bought it for $299. The point I'm trying to make is this bullshit argument about needing to use this brand over this brand. And if you don't use this brand and you do use this brand, then you're not professional or you're not like, it's stupid. It's stupid. I think it's bullshit. Of course, I would love a dingwall, but guess what guys? I don't have two grand, three grand laying around to just go buy a dingwall. So what I do with my 2010 Squire Jaguar bass is try to get that thing to sound as close as I can to a dingwall. And it's yielded great results. I think I've gotten some great sounds out of this bass. And I know that other people agree with me because I've had many comments on my bass tone over the years. So let's talk about Squire a little bit. What's the big deal with using Squire guitars? I don't think there is a big deal. Many of you who follow me probably don't think there's a big deal, but there is this, this group of gatekeeping assholes who seem to think if you use a Squire, especially if you play a Squire on stage, you're not professional. It's the most close-minded, short-sighted thought process out there. So as most of us know, Squire is the affordable line under Fender guitars. And over the years, it's garnered both negative and positive opinions in the guitar community. So why don't we explore some of the criticisms, but more importantly, the advantages that it provides beginner guitarists or more budget conscious players. So the negative narrative, right? Number one would probably be build quality. Squire guitars often face criticism for their lower build quality when compared to Fender guitars, and no shit. Some may say it's the cheaper materials or less attention to detail that kind of leads to this. The second, sound and tone. Uh, this is a, a whole can of worms. We won't delve into it too much, but some often criticize them for not being as warm or having as great a tone as a Fender or other comparable guitars. Some would argue that the depth and clarity may not be on par with its more expensive counterparts. The third, electronics and hardware. Subpar electronics and hardware are often criticized. Issues with pickups, tuners, hardware can sometimes lead to tuning stability, poor sound quality, and limited tonal versatility. A potential fourth criticism is the playability and setup. Oftentimes more affordable guitars, not just Squires, but we're talking about Squires in this instance, Oftentimes, these more affordable guitars need more setup work to get them in proper playing order. And I get it, oftentimes for less experienced players, making truss rod adjustments and tonation adjustments may be frustrating. A fifth potential criticism is resale value. Now, I'm not a collector, I don't have a lot of money, I don't buy guitars to collect them in hopes to one day resell them. I don't think anybody's doing that with the Squire, so this is kind of a moot point in my opinion, but a potential criticism nonetheless. So if we take a different approach, uh, take a different perspective, and look at some of the advantages more affordable guitars, including Squires, can provide, we might look at things the following ways. The first point being affordability. Obviously Squire guitars provide a lower price point than its Fender counterparts. 
and this is ideal for beginners and budget conscious players who are looking to get started without a huge financial investment. A second point to pick up a Squire is its varied range of models. Squire offers a diverse range of models catering to different styles and preferences. Another huge point may be that familiar Fender aesthetic, right? Squires are often modeled after their big Fender brothers. Players can often enjoy that iconic look at a much more affordable price. Another point that should be brought up are improvements in quality. In recent years, Squire has made efforts to improve the overall quality of their guitars. Now to me, one of the biggest points is the customization potential. Squire guitars often serve as a solid foundation for customization and modification. This is huge. The affordable price allows players to experiment with upgrading components and improve the overall sound and performance of their guitar. And in my opinion, this is the approach, or at least the, the perspective that people should be taking for these more affordable guitars. And if anyone ever tells you that you going up on stage with a squire makes you look less professional than anyone else on stage, they're an asshole. So yes, I do have a lot of nice gear and several more expensive guitars. But again, one of the most reliable and prevalent pieces of gear in my kit is my 2010 Squire Jaguar bass. So I guess that further solidifies the fact that I'm not a professional. I know there was a lot of talking in this one, guys, and I appreciate you sticking it out to the end if you're still here. Thank you so much for watching. Again, these are just my opinions and you do what you want with it. You can make your own opinions up. You can buy into the, the bullshit that if you're playing at affordable instruments, then you're a piece of shit and you're not professional. Or you can say shove off to those sorts of opinions and just make music and be happy. At the end of the day, if you write some kick-ass riffs or put together a really good song, no one's gonna care what you played on it. So thank you guys for watching. Take care of yourself, be useful to someone, and we'll see you in the next one.